now that we've done the direction of the magnetic force on a moving charge we can also work out the magnitude now the formula is given by the magnitude is Q I guess these are all magnitudes V times B sine theta very important with the sine theta because we just want the perpendicular part of the velocity to the magnetic field which applies in this case because same there's a 45 ang degree angle here meaning my q times v say goes in that direction but then my b goes in that direction there's a 45 degree angle here so you need to get the perpendicular part which in require us to use the sine theta basically and just as a quick review in this case given that that's the case my thumb goes to the left my magnetic field my index finger kind of points upwards so my force has to be out of the page in this case but we're not asked for the direction we're just asked for the magnitude so let's work that out it's just a matter of plugging these numbers the charge of a proton must of course be the same as the charge of the electron but positive the speed we're given and then my magnetic field is what I'm trying to find with the angle of sine 45 the force here is 1.7 times 10 to negative 16 newtons so rearranging we can get 1. times 10 to the negative 16 newtons divided by All that the calculator gives us 3.00 times 10 to minus 5 Tesla and that's the answer for part A in terms of part B I remind you that on earth near the surface of the earth the magnetic field is roughly 5 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla so if you're slightly further away from the earth being a cosmic ray proton you will experience a magnetic field that's slightly less than that and it all seems to make sense and that's kind of part B just to say that they are roughly the same but a little smaller you wouldn't expect it to be bigger because it's up and away from the poles so just showing how to use this particular formula